Coming up, we look at some spooky ghost pictures from my monthly column Phantoms on Film in Fate and Fortune magazine. You can also see more images in my book Phantoms on Film, now available on Amazon. Are these real ghosts? Let's find out. Our first picture today I've titled Museum of Horror. This is what the sender said. I recently visited the former concentration camp at Auschwitz in Poland where I took this photo which was meant to be of some human hair on display. However, what came out was this spine-chilling photo of what's, what looks like two naked figures. There was no one in the room at the time or pictures on the wall and considering all the horrible things that went on there, it makes it all the more disturbing. Do you think that this photo has captured two spirits? Well, this is this is my my reply to this this picture. The vibrations at Auschwitz are so bad that a great many people claim to say that the birds never sing there. If any place is going to hold the vibrations of the past, then Auschwitz must be at the top of the list and I'm sure there is enough energy there to imprint photographs with memories of the past. Your picture is reminiscent of the dreadful things of starving naked people from the camp and couldn't be a better reminder from the spirit for us never to forget what happened there. And indeed I have worked with people in, um, in, in um, uh, on the kibbutz in the 1970s who were part of those concentration camps and they had the numbers written on their arms still tattooed on their arms what a dreadful thing but have you ever been to Auschwitz have you ever had uh, a strange feeling there and did the birds sing or not I'd like to hear your comments and your comments about that picture too now the next one is called um, sheet or spook this picture she said they say was taken at my daughter's house while she showed me her Halloween decorations it also happened to be the one year anniversary of my son's death so you can imagine our shock when we captured what looks like in the photo it looks just like him I think there's no mistaking it but what do you think Craig okay this is my reply to this one Strong shadows in the folds of material will often make shapes that our brain interprets as faces. We often see this with children when we get frightened by faces in their bedroom curtains or figures shapes in the clothes hanging on the open wardrobe for example. But this picture is remarkable as it's a, such a striking resemblance of the face of your son. There's no denying that it is a very, very close facial match and could well be proof that his spirit is close to you. So do you think that's shadows or do you think that is somehow the spirit is communicated to let them know that the sun is close? Okay, the next one is called Pub Phantom. This is what they asked. I spent Halloween at a pub called the Mason Arms in my hometown. It was built in the 1500s and began life as a stopover for coaches and early couriers. I've sent spirits there, so wasn't surprised when I captured a couple of orbs on my pictures taken on the night. However, the strange thing is, the only people they appeared around were my daughter and me. Is there a spooky explanation? Okay, this is my verdict on this one. Orbs are usually formed by either water or dust spots on the lens of the camera. What you've captured here is a slightly less common orb as it's got patterning within it. However, I don't think this means it's anything spiritual. It has probably been caused by a bit of the glitter on your dress caught in the reflection of the lens. So what do you think? I have I don't like the idea of orbs. I think orbs can actually be um, easily misunderstood from basic simple photographic problems. Dust on the lens, water on the lens, spray in the atmosphere. But what do you think? Are these faces we see in orbs the real thing? Or are they our own imaginations thinking it's something more than it is? If you enjoyed this video then follow Jane and I on our adventures around the world by subscribing. 
you can click that button or you can click the little bell thingy on the main page and then you'll get regular updates every time we upload something new like the page and also make your comments we look forward to seeing you next time